Today, we're gonna to be trying out the new Space Jam, a new legacy cereal. YouTube, how's it going? My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, today we're checking out the new cereal that's inspired by the new movie, Space Jam, A New Legacy. So this cereal is berry with marshmallows. Looks like we have purple berries, little orange. Let me get over here. So we have purple, purple berries on here. Like, what are those, orange marshmallows? and then white marshmallows, which I guess are supposed to be Bugs Bunny, with the purple and the orange, I mean the white bunny ones almost look like ghost. Those look like pumpkins. Doesn't this cereal look Halloween-ish with these colors? It's cool, I like it, but it does remind me of like a Halloween themed cereal, at least the colors wise. So we've got LeBron James on the front here with Bugs Bunny. Uh, little cutout you can do on the back here. Make, I guess, a basketball hoop and other things. Maybe use the cereal to shoot, I guess. I don't know. We're not worried about the game. I'm gonna try out the cereal. So, Space Jam, A New Legacy. If you're not familiar with the original movie, because it came out a long time ago in 1996, had the Looney Tune characters with Michael Jordan. And there's always been talk about, with LeBron James, you know, trying to, become the best basketball player, you know, more championships and this and that. And there was always that talk, well, he's got to do a Space Jam. Well, now he's doing Space Jam, a new legacy. Is it something we needed? A new Space Jam? I don't know, I went back and, I don't know if I ever originally saw the first movie. Maybe I did a long, long time ago. It got decent reviews. You know, the reviews aren't like it was a great movie. It was good for kids, you know, kids would probably be satisfied with it. But the thing about it back then, compared to now, it's been a long time. And my question is, do kids these days watch Looney Tunes anymore? I know my kids are in their 20s now, and growing up, raising them, I don't know if they ever watched Looney Tunes. You know, there's other cartoons, you know, on Disney Channel, Nickelodeon stuff that they watched. So I don't know if they even, they probably know who the Looney Tune characters are, some of them, but I don't know if they ever watched it. And that's the thing, with kids these days, do they watch Looney Tunes? If you have young kids these days, Leave it in the comments. Do they watch Looney Tunes? Do they even know who Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and Elmer Fudd and all those guys are? I I don't know. That's what I'm wondering is, is this movie going to be as popular as maybe the original Space Jam? How's it going to do? I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll see. But let's we're here for the cereal, so let's try this out and see how it tastes. You know what this reminds me of? And it doesn't sit well for how it's going to taste. It smells like the inside of a lumber store, like Home Depot or Lowell's or Menards. It has a lumber smell to it. I don't know if it's just the, the box I'm smelling or, no, I'm getting this, this cereal has, it smells like a lumber yard. Not as vibrant as the box, but you know, that's the way cereals are. They usually never look like exactly what they look on the box. I don't know why they can't make it that way, but they never do. All right, let's just try some of these alone. I don't know if those marshmallows had a different taste than each other. From right there, the berry kind of tastes like tricks but we'll see. A lot of these cereals I realize do these gimmicky cartoon cereals that are based on movies or whatever. A lot of them just taste like tricks. Maybe they are tricks. Maybe they're just taking all the purple tricks and throwing them in here. Let's get a bunch of marshmallows in there too. Okay, that bite with all that stuff didn't dry. It kind of reminded me of Trix. Taking the bite like that, it didn't. Because it, it's not as fruity as, say, Trix is. It 
It has Captain Crunch, Crunch Berries taste, but with marshmallows mixed in there. Similar, but not exact like Crunch Berries, but it's pretty close. And it is a berry cereal, so that makes sense. So it's pretty close. Like I said, it's closer to Crunch Berries just with marshmallows than it is, say, Tricks. I originally thought when I just ate one alone, it kind of reminded me of Tricks, but not when you're taking a spoonful. So if you like Crunch Berries, you may like this one. It has some marshmallows in there. It's not bad. You know, there's been other gimmicky ones that haven't been as good. This is, it's decent. It's a decent berry cereal. I'm sure the kids will like it. Adults who were fans of the original and just want to get in on the Space Jam merchandise will probably enjoy it too. It's a decent cereal. That's the thing is, will kids want it? Because they'll be like, you know, maybe if they're fans of Le LeBron James, they may, you know, I don't know if kids still know who the Looney Tunes are. Like I said, leave it down in the comments if you have kids. Are they fans of Looney Tunes or not? This one's not bad, better than I thought it would be. It's decent, check it out. Limited edition, collector's box. Buy it just to keep the box, save it, you know. Maybe in 30, 30 years or so, maybe they'll come up with Space Jam 3 with some new basketball star. So there you go, Space Jam, a new legacy, it's decent. Check it out while it's in the stores. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time. All right, let's try the crunch test with this. See if it still holds up. Mm -hmm. Holds up better than I than some do. Some get really mushy. I think because, you know, these berries are a little, you know, there's some mass to them. So the outside is starting to get mushy on them, but there's still some crunch inside. So it holds up, not bad. Looks like it's turning the milk a little bluish, purplish. So the berries hold up a little bit, but the marshmallows get really mushy. I'll see you guys next time.